What is a parenthetical citation? A parenthetical citation pretty much is exactly what it sounds like. It is a citation in parentheses, parenthetical citation. Sometimes you might also hear it called in-text citation because what it looks like is a mini citation right in your text. So this is what it looks like. Here is your quote that you were quoting and here right after your quote is your parenthetical citation and it usually includes in parentheses the author's last name and the page number. So what is the point of doing a parenthetical citation if you have a bibliography at the end of your paper? That is a very good question. A parenthetical citation and a bibliography work together. So if I have this bibliography and I have a whole bunch of citations in my bibliography and then I quote something and this little mini citation isn't there, there is no way for my reader to know which citation out of all my citations this quote matches up with. So what a parenthetical citation is, is a marker right in your text of your paper that lets your reader know this is the author and that allows me to match it up with the full citation so that if your reader wanted to, they could go and find that source and find that exact quote. So that's why we have parenthetical citation because it works with your full citations and your bibliography. So when do you use parenthetical citations? You use parenthetical citations when you have a direct quote that you are taking from a book or a database or a website. So taking a quote means it is not your words, you're pulling it straight out, not changing it at all, and that requires a parenthetical citation immediately after it. So it goes right at the end of your quote. You can see that you close the quotations, parentheses, author's last name, page numbers, close parentheses, and your punctuation goes on the outside of the parentheses. So quotations on the inside, punctuation on the outside. How do you know what goes in a parenthetical citation? If you have your bibliography, and you've been doing that as you go along, it's really easy to figure out because what's gonna go in the parenthetical citation is whatever comes first. So for this citation, I have an author's name. So my author is going to go in my parenthetical citation. Now this citation, I didn't have an author. There was no author. So the first piece of information is my article title. And that's what would go in my parenthetical citation along with a page number if I have it. If I don't have a page number, I don't put it in. This one again, I have an author's last name. That's what I would use. This one, I don't have an author's last name. I just have a title. So that's what I would put in. So that's the easiest way to figure it out. Look at your citation, and then that's what goes in your parenthetical citation along with the page number if you have it. So let's take a look. Let's do a little bit of practice. <clears throat> so here I have a quote. And I am being told that it's from page 145 of a book called Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. So if I go to my bibliography and find the citation for Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, I can see that the first piece of information is the author's last name. So when I go back to my, site, uh, my quote, I'm going to move my punctuation, author's last name, page number, close parentheses, period. And that's how you do a parenthetical citation.